This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be hiding out there on the globe today. Welcome to another training video from WP Plugins A to Z.com. I am John Overall. I'm here today to talk to you about how to use Subscribe to Comments Reloaded. This is a plugin that I have reviewed quite some time back, um, way back in episode 68. So this takes us back quite a while, all the way back to 2012, and I've been using this plugin ever since. So it's a fantastic plugin. They're still keeping it up to date. Last update was two months ago, and we're going to go through how to use this plugin, how to set it up and configure it for your website. So without much further ado, let's jump into it. Of course, the usual bits and pieces that you need to know. First thing you'll want to do is subscribe to, you'll want to search for subscribe to comments reloaded. In other words, you'll want to go to plugins, add new, and search for subscribe to comments reloaded. It'll come up here at the top. As usual, per all WordPress plugins, quickly, quick, quickly, simply click on the install and activate button and it's in there. Now you could leave this plugin in the default settings right off the bat and let it go from there, but it's probably best if you take just a few minutes and go through and tweak just a few things that it, in it as I'm gonna show you here. All right, so once it's installed and activated, it'll come up here asking you to help support the plugin here. If you find a bug or an issue, a place to report it. If you wanna make a donation, please do. I donated to them way back when. But uh, we may have to consider an updated donation for them because they're still doing this on a donation basis. And uh, you can check out the change log for all the updates they've been done. You don't want to see it again, hit the dismiss button, that goes away. So where you, will you find this plugin? You will find it in the menu under STCR and you'll just click here to manage your subscriptions on it. And since this is a new install, it won't have all the subscriptions here. Real briefly here, let's pop over to the WP plugins. And you see after a while, you'll see that you've got page after page after page of people that are subscribed to the, uh, to the um, comments on here. And most of them, while they are all mostly me, it uh, will find that other people get subscribed to it. I have it set up that so I automatically subscribe to all the comments and we'll show you how that's done here in a moment. So first thing you do once you get in here, you see that? You'll want to click on the tab for comment form. This is the form that's going to be displayed on the page for your comments on the site. And what you'll be looking for is when someone goes into a article or a story at the bottom of the page, it's going to give them the ability here to go ahead and subscribe to the plugin. Here we go. This form's not very clear, but this is the form, this is the post comment, this is where they can check to notify a comments via email, or they could even subscribe without commenting. So when we go back in here to deal with it, we can come in here and set it up. Now, first off, you'll want to enable the checkbox by default, automatically enabled, so that they can check the box. They can, uh, you can set the box as default checked. I wouldn't recommend doing that because that's kind of cruel. Not everyone wants to subscribe and then they'd have to manually opt out. It's better to have them opt in. Advanced subscription. If you check this box, you'll get another, another option here, which will allow you, first you gotta check it and then save. Okay, and then you'll get an advanced default where they can reply to the comment that they make. So anytime someone replies to their comment, it, uh, they'll get the uh, notification. They can have it so that all new comments on the post or they can have it as none. I usually set the default to all new comments for it. Then you can come down here and you'll want to look at the custom HTML that's going to be displayed on the page itself. So you'll want to customize it up a little bit in here from what is in there. The biggest one that I found that needs to be customized is this one here where they can also subscribe without commenting. Uh, you'll want to, depending on the theme that you've used, 
the it doesn't this part here doesn't always show up really clear in this particular theme it shows up very nicely in that the links have highlighted colors but if you use say the default 2017 theme it doesn't give you and it doesn't default to a color unless you get it all modified up so that's something you'll want to consider when you're doing this so you'll want to add something in here such as an additional component that says like click here so that they know to click in that particular spot and what you'll need to do is you'll need to get the the link setting which is subscribe to link and then just set the link setting here very simply easily and it's done and we'll double check that it's filled it out correctly yeah see this is another little glitch I discovered when doing that it wants to put an HTTP in front of it so you'll need to go in manually and edit that link just so you know that component there the subscribe label this is the label that shows if someone's subscribed to it so if they're logged in it will show them that also here we've got the different subscription labels once they're subscribed the label changed to your subscribed to this post with a link so they can go manage their subscriptions if they're subscribed to multiple posts they've got a pending label host that says your subscriptions post needs to be confirmed and then the author label if you are an author you can manage subscriptions of this post so we hit save changes on that we go through now the next tab over is the management page this one here brings us up to what kind of page are you going to have now some themes you might have issues so that use it this uses a virtual management page so that if you have to create a real page maybe your themes having issues you can disable that and then go create a real page and then put the URL to that real, real page here this you can adjust the the head met metadata for this so you can customize it up however you feel messages that will get emailed out once they subscribe they can get a request link this is if they want to manage their subscriptions they enter their email address and it'll send a message containing the link to access all the subscriptions on your website request submitted this is thank you for subscribing to our service your request has been completed you should receive an email with a link in a few minutes subscribe without commenting you can follow the discussions without having to leave a comment just enter their email address in below and how that one works out is similar to this if they click the button here it takes them to a remote page for it it's supposed to there we go hit the subscribe button takes them to a page here you can follow the discussions by uh, on this by entering your email address so it's very simple straightforward to use subscription process this tells that gives them an email that's been processed they can subscription with the DCI process the author's link and the user's link so if you made any changes make sure you hit save changes for that next one up is the notifications pay tab this one here is to allow you to set up the notifications to go out the sender's name your sender's email address to give them a reply to address if you want otherwise it'll be the default is the same as senders notification of the subject this is where you can customize up the emails that are being sent out the notification uh, subject the disable or double double check subject the management all of them so you can go through one by one and customize these emails up adding your own little special touches to the message to help you know encourage your users to come back to your site maybe don't donations whatever you want to do anything you want to say to your users that are visiting your site so that's all you do on the options page on that on the options page other than that then uh, or on the notifications page then we can go to the options page this one here if you want to temporarily disable the subscribe to comments reloaded checkbox or drop down you can do that here by turning it off for safely uninstalling if you want to uninstall this without losing all your subscribers you hit you keep it at yes if you're going to remove everything subscribers hit the no on it 
It's got an auto purge request, depending, delete the subscriptions not confirmed after X number of days. So this helps keep your database clean. The position of the, uh, look of the uh, notification that's on the bottom of the posts, that's this one right here. You can move this so it goes up above the link there. And this is one of the things you'll want to do. It gives it a cleaner look, move it so that it goes above the comment form, uh, the submit button in the comment form, enable double check. This is probably a good thing to do to prevent spammers from getting in there. This one sends out an email to confirm the subscription to avoid any spammers, basically. Subscribe authors, you can, if you've got authors, this will automatically subscribe them to their own articles going forward. It's not retroactive, but it will going forward for authors. Soon as they create the post and publish it, they're automatically subscribed so that if a comment shows up, they get an email that says someone commented on their post. This is a really great way to help keep the authors knowing so that they don't have to go in on a continuous basis to see if there's new comments on their post. Enable HTML emails. Process trackbacks, well, you're going to want to know on that. We're, we're done with trackbacks. That really needs to be removed from WordPress. That is such a pain in the ass these days. Track all subscriptions. Now, this one here, if you're the administrator and you want lots of emails, if you get lots of comments, you can get notified of every comment for every user, even if you don't subscribe. Maybe you might not want to do that. But if you don't get a lot of comments, maybe you might. So think about that one. Let the admin subscribe. Now this one's kind of useful because you can let the administrator subscribe to comments when logged in. So that one's kind of useful. The uh, BCC admin on notifications, you can send uh, notifications to the admin uh, for all notifications. Again, if you're the administrator, you might end up with way too much email. I know as an administrator myself, I get way too much email as it is. And some of the stuff like this, I even just, I've gone blind to it. I don't even see it. I hit delete, 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 delete in my inbox. And then they've got a unique key to be used when uh, to send notification to subscribers more securely. Now you can regenerate that key anytime you like. So you hit save changes on that. And to give you an idea on like one of the changes we made here, this is uh, moving of this box. When we reload the page, once it reloads the page, let's try that again. All right, so it didn't move. All right, yay, go Google. Let's clean up the, uh, there we go. Clear the browser data. All right, let's try it again. See if the browser is being cleared and it gets moved. No, it's not moving. Must be this theme. All right, this theme's not letting us move it anywhere else. So this is going to be theme dependent, I would guess. All right, so that's what we got there. And. That would be it. You can go to the help box and find out ways you can help them and donate to the show. For support questions, you can drop in here and there's a link to their GitHub or you can support them on their WP uh, or WordPress.org uh, plugin listing site, which is the link down below in the uh, video thing below where we got links to everything else and all the show notes that come with this. Anyway, check this plugin out. It's a very useful plugin for encouraging people to stay on your website and come back to it on a regular basis. And that's all we've got for you now. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyright by johnoverall.com. So until next time, have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today. <laughs>